Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are back here with Kelly Alexa Durant, our medium, our spiritual guide, our psychic, our intuitive, our empath, our mother, our sister, our daughter, our friend. She's many titles. <laughs> How are you, hon? I'm doing well, Jill, and I hope everybody out there is doing just as good as you and I are. Well, thank you. And for those new listeners today, obviously, I kind of mentioned a few things that you do. Uh, you're gifted with this um, talent. Uh, it's your innate ability to help contact those on the other side and to guide people in this current thing we call life here and bridge that for them. And um, you, you do a lot as a healer, as an intuitive. Um, what did you want to share today? Well, today, I just want to make sure that everybody is being true to themselves. And that's a big step. When you're not being truthful with yourself, how can you be truthful with your friends, your husband, your wife, your kids, anybody? So let's try to be truthful with everyone and yourself. It's so important to be true to yourself. Because if your gut says, oh, I shouldn't be doing that, then why are you doing it? Question everything. Let's see where that question takes you. And don't just go down the one little branch. Let's go down all the little ones, you know, just like a tree. <laughs> yep. Got all these branches. Let's find out which one is the truth and where you should be heading. And that's one of the ways to connect with your personal guides also and to get more information on what the question is or what the answer you are looking for or even how to go about connecting with it, uh, getting it, the direction you should take or how it should go. So, for example, you want to go back to school, but you're not sure what you want to do. So start going down that little road. And, and first of all, ask, what interests me? Then why does it interest me? And from there, do I want to work at that? And will it provide me any satisfaction? Will it give me some pride? Will it hope? Uh, will it provide for me? And you can see where all these little questions keep on, you get, keep on going a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. And so by being true to yourself, you're answering those questions because you're answering them to what is for your own good and higher, greater good. And it's very important that we all stick to what is the best for us because if we're, we're going to step back and take second place on something that doesn't really provide you with happiness how does it affect the rest of your life you got to pardon the words a dirty job at work and you don't really like it you don't like what you're doing but you go there every day because it provides a paycheck now start looking at that and going, what is there about my job that I do like? And where should I be working then if I don't like it here? Now, is it because of the people? Is it because of what you're doing? Is it because of the product or the environment? There are so many things to look at. And yes, one of the things I do do is coach people. Got it. Yeah, because some people say, well, I've questioned, I've questioned, I've been become a reporter and I keep asking questions, but I still don't get it. I still don't know. So, you know, maybe they do know, but their gut just doesn't want to guide them. So they contact you. <laughs> Pretty much in that mm -hmm. respect. Yes, they will. They will uh, go look at that aspect of it. Yes. And that's when you're connecting with your guides and you can see them by connecting with your guides, how they can help you with the rest of your life whether or not this is what you're supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to be a wife? Am I supposed to? I love this man, but is it what it's best for me? Mm -hmm. Or is there something better? 
And how do I go about? And same thing with grief. You know, those are questions you ask yourself also. Who am I? What am I? Where am I at now? And you can see we're talking with your guides, letting them into your life and questioning things and asking, getting questions and answers and answers and questions. And sometimes the questions evolve into further questions. <laughs> <laughs> and it affects every part of your life. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, the guides come in and help you with all of that. With the grief, you start asking, how or who am I now? Because all of a sudden, your partner, your uh, brother, sister, family member, friend, whoever it was, is now crossed over. And who are you without them? Who are you? And that is a valid question, especially for an individual who's lost their partner because their life has been wrapped up in their partner and helping and doing with them everything. You know, you go to sleep with them, you wake up with them. If you have a normal job, Mm -hmm. you know, a nine to five type job or whatever. But, uh, you know, It's a funny thing how that can actually evolve. And you go, well, I've always centered myself around their activities or our activities. Now I don't have them around. What am I going to do now? What do I do for my fun now? Because we always did this together. And you start kind of really questioning yourself. Who are you? What are you? Can you even get beyond that? And become who you really, truly are. And when you start doing that, then you know that you are well on your way to healing. When you have found that you are going in the direction that your guides are saying, you take, you go this way. You need to do this. You need to do that. Whatever the case may be. And when you mentioned guides, for those that may not know, could you just explain to new listeners about guides and, you know, how, who they are in a sense and around us and what they're doing all the time? Everyone has guides. They're there from the moment we are born into this world until the time we leave this world and cross over. Now, a guide is like, in some respects, some people will compare them to angels and archangels, but they're not. These are spirits that have made the choice to help you along your road or your path in life, whether that path is going to be spiritual or financial or as an author or a journalist or whatever path that you are going on in life. And they will change in and out all the time. You may have one constant guide that can stick around for years. And then you may have a guide that comes in for just a few months and just to help you with one particular aspect. Let's say um, this particular aspect happens to be relationship related. And they know that you're not supposed to be with that particular person. And so they start to show you how or you should start listening to what they're saying about the individual pick up on this little tidbit or that little action, that little innuendo, whatever. And they'll guide you through that relationship and then they're gone. And then another one will pop in. And this one could be for finances mm-hmm. or it could be career choices. And everybody has two plus guides at any given time. At one point, I had six. Wow. Oh, that was a lot. Nick got pretty noisy in there. <laughs> it's got to be noisy. My gosh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I couldn't believe it because my mentor, he said to me, before you see me the next time, sit down and you see how many guides that you've got and what they are there for. 
and I was just blown away. One was to help me with some childhood trauma. Another was there to help me with finances. Another was there for personal effects and how do I present myself? Uh, you know, and the list goes on. What they are or what they can help you with. And by acknowledging them, then you're acknowledging a little piece in here also on who you are and what makes you tick and how your heart feels and how you feel in life, how you feel with what you're doing in life and whether or not you're happy. And continuing, continuing on in that line of work that you're doing or not doing. And sometimes they come in and they'll just say, it's time for a switch up. Mm -hmm. And then you go, oh, oh glitch yep <laughs> what what am i doing mm -hmm. how do i do this what am i supposed to do you just threw a curveball <laughs> because all of a sudden let's say the universe said oh time for you to uh, move on in this job because it's no longer doing and fulfilling your needs that's what the universe is saying mm -hmm. but you, you turn around and you go oh crap i got fired now what do i do i feel real what did what did i do to get fired how was it my fault mm -hmm. what did i do wrong and you question yourself but it's an actuality the universe is saying time to move time. on mm -hmm. move on and stop and listen to your guides take that time out and heal yourself and that's also a big part that the guides are there to help you with is so that you can heal. And we all need healing. And even healers need healing. And this is, you know, a lot of people say, well, you're a healer. How, you don't need any help. And you're kind of going, uh, yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. And it just uh, could be the same thing that you're going through or that you have lost your own friend or spouse or whomever or you could be going through an issue where you know someone in your in your uh, circle is dying slowly and so you're trying to deal with that you're trying to work with your family and if you have kids you're trying to work with that and then on top of it uh, got covid yeah so how are you working this all so that it kind of flows and you don't uh hurt like you could mm -hmm. and you work with your guides and sometimes when you're work, when I'm working, I will not just sometimes. I always bring in the angels, the archangels, and the masters, and they all help and guide me in how to present and bring stuff to you forward from an individual. Because there could be times when you're kind of going, oh, I don't know what I've done, and then all of a sudden somebody throws you a question, and it just kind of goes boom in your mm. face and you're going that's what oh. i miss mm -hmm. and that is the way the universe can sometimes answer some of the questions that you've got because you're not really listening you're only listening to your ego to what you want not what is better yes. or yeah. best mm -hmm. yeah and it just kind of ungrowing and going by listening with your guides and working with. And sometimes your guide can actually teach you to have a sense of humor. If you're kind of like a dry stick in the mud <laughs> kind of a person who doesn't see what's so funny about things, they'll teach you to be a little bit lighthearted and to look at things in a different manner. And just because something just went bang and your whole world feels like it fell into place or fell apart look at the humor what did you learn look at the good stuff don't don't focus on the negative <laughs> focus on 
the happy, good stuff. And that is one of the things in grief is part of the healing process. You don't focus on the negative of losing the individual or losing the job. You focus on what you learned and how you overcame and how yeah. it, it made you laugh. You look at the good yeah. because there is all of that. So questioning. I'm learning that to question more. I hope our listeners are getting this. Just a reminder, Kelly, how do we contact you? Yes, uh, I, can be con- I can be contacted through my web or Facebook page, not my web page, my Facebook page at Above and Beyond Healing or through my uh, direct cell phone, 403-561-6066. Perfect. So what else are your spirits telling you today that we need to discuss and open up to our <laughs> listeners with? What else do we need to hear? What do we need to learn? I know we, we can't learn as much as you, but what are some other things they're guiding you towards for us today? Well, you'd be surprised at what you can learn and what you can teach me. Oh, okay. Exactly. But I don't know everything. You don't know everything. And we teach each other. And our guides will show us how to teach each other. And one of them is just in the way we contact or how we appreciate each other or acknowledge each other um, without putting the other one down, you know, but accepting them for who they are. They have their own beliefs and you have your own beliefs. Mm -hmm. You don't have to impose your beliefs on anybody. Just Walk the talk or talk the walk. Yeah. And that's always a big one. I have a couple of mentors and they really do walk the talk. They do. They have helped me so much on my journey. It's amazing what I have learned and still do learn from them. But I also stop and I go, okay, where else can I learn? How can I find that peace? And that seems to be the big one that keeps coming up today is finding that peace, that satisfaction, that relaxation. How do I find that in this hustle and bustle world? How do I get any time out or what is it for me that I can do for me that's not going to hurt anybody? You know, we hear about all of this stuff that's going on in the world with all these rallies and stuff like that. And you you start thinking and going, but that's affecting me. But how are you letting it affect you? Let's take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, is it in your own little space, your own world? Mm, It's on the fringes out there. Mm -hmm. But... Has an immediate impact? No. Let's just step over that hurdle and just continue on. Okay, now what can I do? Oh, I can go and just have, I've got no kids today. I've got no husband or spouse or friends or anybody. I've got downtime. What am I going to do with myself? Oh, maybe I think I'll go and uh, go to a movie. Let's go to a show or I'm going to go and read a book or let's go have a bath or let's go play some games or or whatever, but find that time just for yourself. It is so important to find time for you and only you take half an hour, 15 minutes a day, every day, And just spend it with yourself alone, with nobody around, nobody talking to you. And just start listening to what's going on up here. And what are you feeling around right now? Do you feel those little goosebumps start because somebody just uh, walked around behind you there, Jill? I feel goosebumps because you just <laughs> said it and then I got them. So I didn't get it earlier, but only when you point it out. Well, sometimes I get them, but 
<laughs> I love it. Wow. I love doing that to you because I can see them walking around and I'm going, when is she going to say something? <laughs> I don't see them seem, I guess I'm not tuning in enough, but they're around. Wow. Yes, they are. Last week, I think there was someone watching me work. Yes. Learning, learning my craft. Yes. Who did you, yes. anyone pass by today that I need to say hi to? Hi. Uh, just the usual, your guides. And <laughs> they're, they're watching. Yeah. But la yes, last week you had an angel that uh, came around and was kind of, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, surveying and watching what you do because they'd never seen that. It was a new angel. And oh, so they were kind of watching over you and they actually said said that they really had fun watching oh. and over you well it's true it I, I i love i love you i love people i love i get to talk to so many people <laughs> and meet different people different talents different walks of life different and they teach i learn something new every day like you said i teach it's so true because i'm learning from you I'm learning from everyone and it's just I'm, I love, I'm naturally a people person. I've always said that. It sounds corny, but I am. So. No, it's not corny. It's not like corny it. at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is important to find a little time, just yourself. And that way you can connect with whoever. You can also connect with spirit from the other side or an individual. If you're listening for them by keeping that. 15 minutes and all you have to do is just kind of keep in an upright position because if you lay down you're gonna fall asleep yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's face it you can fall asleep so you sit in an upright position and you can have calming music you can have herbs or whatever burning around you or nothing it just depends on the individual and how you want to go about it and you can just sit there in the quiet and just say who wants to come and give me a message today what should i what should i be doing can i talk to uncle jack or mm -hmm. aunt joe or whoever can i talk with you today mom no or dad mm -hmm. and just sit there quiet and don't let your ego get in the way, but just start listening okay. and hearing what is being said. Sometimes they may not say anything. And then when you get up and go do something, you'll go, oh, oh, that reminded me of mom. And now you're going, oh, that's what she wanted to tell me or something to that effect. And it's just that time alone that you can sit quietly and listen to your guides or to someone who's crossed over that you want to talk to. And it's quite simple to do, as you can see. And just having that quiet without interruption, without anybody knocking on the door or music blaring or the TV interrupting you, just go into a quiet area or even go sit out in the bush or out in your garden or anywhere where it's quiet and calm and just start listening but ground yourself too at the same time now when i speak about grounding that's by having your feet in the ground actually and to vision yourself being grounded think of yourself as a tree and you know how the roots go throughout the tree the ground and that and they just spread right out and they give you a good foundation and a good base so that tree's not going to just go toppling over but just think of that or even just go hug something that is natural or like i do i give myself hugs with these guys crystals yes <laughs> amethyst no they may look like amethyst but it's actually oralite. Oh, okay. <laughs> now this one here, it's an emerald oralite. 
And the thing is, is that with orlite, it is only found in Canada, north of Thunder Bay, Ontario. Only around the world? That's it? Wow. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, wow. And it's called Orlite 21. Okay. And I've got a few pieces. That one was at Esmeralda. This one is called Granger. This is Chunk. <laughs> wow. See, from afar, it looks purple. It looks like an amethyst to me. I'm looking. Wow. They okay. do. They do. Wow. Because you see, see the striations of the purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this one has got the green. Okay. Emerald. Yeah. It's, yeah. This is kind of like a really dark green. And then I've got King, who's got the perfect little point right there. Wow. And I've got several others, and I use them all. And it's amazing what they can do. Some people, because of the size and the quantity that I have, some people cannot stay in the vicinity of it because it is so much energy. Wow. And you can actually drain one of these. I have. You've told me that story. Was it your grandson? Yes. yes. And my grandson and he, recharged yeah. it. Wow. Yes. And that's when you knew he had the gift. Oh, my gosh. It's all coming that's back. Right. Yes. There. Wow. And they can help in so many different ways. And the reason why it's called 21 is that it's got 21 different minerals that they can find. Oh, okay. They've got more but they don't know what they all are. Got it. But they are just amazing gemstones. Can we get them from like Amazon? Is there a special spot in Canada we got to go? Or are they only passed along through people like healers like yourself that have secret collections? <laughs> Actually, it's very difficult, I found, because oh, wow. I was trying to make uh, bracelets with the Oralite beads. And I did find an outlet somewhere down in the states that actually had some but they cost quite a bit and with these guys none of these guys are under 200 dollars. wow that's just giving you an, a rough idea. idea yeah because i've got pieces that are over a thousand but we can work with you so, and through you use your aura lights and you can help us right exactly yeah you're the expert exactly. anyway i wouldn't know what to do with the oral light um and <laughs> unfortunately we're out of time again kelly alexa durant remind us of uh facebook page above and beyond healing uh-huh and you can instant message me through that and or 403-561-6066 thank you very much for being here Thank you for having me, Jill, and many blessings to everyone, and I hope they find their quiet spot. Thank you. Bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcast and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you can now listen live on the MyTuner Radio and online Radio Box apps for iOS, Android, and the Amazon App Store. Or check us out online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on onlineradiobox.com slash US so you don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.